Okay, so missing number problem. So we've got an addition here, but we've got a missing number. So we need to have a little think about what the question is already telling us. So it's giving us our answer. So what we can do is we can use our inverse operation, which for this is going to be subtraction, so take away. So we can have a look here at our answer and we can say five, take away two, which is the number it's given us here, equals what? And that should give us the answer here in the missing box. So we know that as three. So we can put our three there, but we have to make sure that we check our answer. So we can go and do the addition, which is three add two equals five. So we know that, that answer is correct. So we've got our missing number. So the next one here, let's do that one again. We have got here our answer seven and two, but we've got one carried over here. So that tells us that the answer for this one here would be 12. So these two numbers added together equals 12. So let's do our inverse operation of 12 take away 5. So we can either count back from 12 or count on from 5 to find out what the answer is. So we know that as 7. So we can put our seven here, but let's check our answer. So seven add five equals 12. So that's right, they've carried on the one there. And then four add two is seven because they've added on that one there. Okay, so let's move on to this one here. So we've got now into our hundreds and we've noticed that there's one that's been carried over. So let's have a look. We've got three add six and that gives us nine. So that's all okay with that one. But we've got our missing number in our tens column here. So we, it tells us here that our missing number add six came to 14. So what we can do is use our inverse. So we can do 14 take away six. So what we can do is we can count up from six up to 14 and you can see how many fingers you have up. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now I've got eight fingers up in the air so that means that the answer is eight. So you can use a number line as well if you're struggling with that. So let's put our answer here as 8, but it's very important that we check our answer. So let's do that calculation here of 8 add 6. Okay, and that gives us 14. So that's very right, isn't it? So let's check this one here. We've got 4 add 1, which is 5. And then we have this one down here. So that gives us 6. So that's correct there. But what if we have two boxes missing? So we've got two numbers here that are missing. So let's have a little look here. So this tells us already that the answer of eight add something is going to be 16. All right, so let's have a think. We need to use our inverse. 16 take away eight. So again, what we can do is we can count up to 16 from eight and see how many fingers we have. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I've got eight fingers up in the air, so the answer is eight. So we can put in our eight here. So let's just check what we've got so far. Eight add eight is 16. So we've got our one carried here. Three add three is six, and we have our carried one over, which gives us seven. And then here we have got something add one equals two. So we can use the same operation. We can use our inverse operation two take away one equals one. But I think you probably already knew that one. So we can put our one here. We've got one add one equals two. So let's try this one here. So we've got three add something equals six. So let's 
think three add something equals six. Let's use our inverse. So th six take away three equals three. So we can put three here. So let's check our answer. Three add three is six. That's correct, isn't it? So we haven't got anything carried over. Nine add three equals two. So that's what that's telling us here. But that doesn't seem right. Nine add three equals 12, doesn't it? So here, the answer hasn't shown that we have a one carried over. So it's really important to look through all of the answers that it's giving you, not just the columns where it has missing numbers. Because now we've got an extra one here underneath our hundreds column, which will help us determine what this missing number is. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two numbers together. So that gives us two. So here, I could say that that's two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my inverse. I'm going to do four take away two. And that gives us two. So let's put that there. Now let's check. Two add one is three. And then we have this one down here, which gives us four, which is that answer there. So here we've got our correct missing numbers.